Hello and welcome to Sound and Melodies. In this video, I am going to show you how to strip all these silent moments in the audio and join them together in a very fast way to speed up your workflow. The first manual option would be to manually see the different parts that is empty. Go to shuffle mode and simply delete that then do a crossfade. So it takes a lot of time to do that for the entire clip, which is why we're going to do the same thing in a faster way. And to do that, first, let's go back to grid mode. We select the audio clip and press Command and U, which brings us the strip silence mode. And once this is up, we can see that it already detected some parts that we can clean up and we can make some changes around here in this strip silence box and if I change the threshold it allows me to see and have a manual control of how much of the audio volume is considered silence and it's looking pretty all right to me at the moment I will increase the waveforms not the volume just to see what's going on here and I can use clip start and reduce a little bit to reduce that opening time of the sound and let's say that is enough and in the clip end the same thing we can reduce it and I think that's about quite all right and I'll just go scroll and see if it's working quite okay and now that uh, I'm satisfied with the settings I'll click strip and it takes away all the silence parts from the clip now the first option I showed you earlier was using shuffle to bring it closer like that but again it takes a lot of time so we're gonna just select all the clip until the end then use the shortcut option shift and H this will bring us space clips and here time code we keep 00, zero for everything which means there is no empty space between the clips for example if I put it at 10 seconds what you can see is it moves the clip equally in 10 seconds but that's not what we want so let's go back there again and change it to zero zero and apply and now you can see it has connected everything for us and finally I will apply crossfades between the clips as all of these clips are selected I'm going to press command and F and it will bring me batch fades window and here I can set how long fade I want right now it's 250 milliseconds let's see and it's quite all right but let's increase that a little bit make it 400 for this purpose and these fade lengths you can adjust according to your need right now it looks quite all right to me and this is how we shorten our workflow from possibly hours to minutes thank you very much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one